Sporting Achievement, sponsored by Barnsley Premier Leisure. Calvin Betton. Despite coaching some of the world's best tennis players, including Henry Patton, the men's doubles champion at Wimbledon, Calvin always enjoys returning home to Barnsley. Um, I've been coaching since 1999, so 25 years uh, this year. Um, I coached basically at Barnsley Tennis Club for about eight years um, and then just kind of just progressed up the ladder, I guess, uh, over the next few years. And then I started working with, started working with full time, for, I started working full time with players um, around about 2014, having done little bits before that. Um, with juniors and um, national level juniors, that kind of thing, and then started working with the lad who I work with now. Um, I coached two players in the top 100. I coached Luke Johnson, who's from Leeds, um, and I coached Henry Patton, who is from Essex. I started working with those two. I started working with Luke in 2019 uh, full time, and I started working with Henry in 2022. I started playing tennis. I started playing tennis pretty young, but I only really took it remotely seriously. Like I'm talking, saying I played in parks and that kind of thing, and then I started going to some like structured training camps and that kind of thing when I was 14. And then I played, sort of, I got to pretty pretty decent. I got to like county, stroke, regional level, um, and played at that level for for a good few years. Um, and then I kind of always knew that you know you, you know when you're playing certain players that you're not as good as them and you're never going to be as good as them. So I kind of always was realistic on that front and I always kind of knew I wanted to be a coach for a few years before um, before I started coaching. I've done quite a lot of days. Uh, I think I've been away for 19 weeks so far this year, plus all the tournaments in Britain like over the grass season. Um, it's about another six weeks in Britain alone then. There's all the training and that kind of thing. But yeah, I've been on I think I've been every continent this year except for Africa. I've not been to Africa because I went to Morocco as well. I mean, I enjoy, I'm, I'm very competitive. Um, I enjoy that element of it. Just I, A lot of coaches say they don't like match days. It's the worst day of their job, but I'm kind of the opposite. I love match days. I love the, the drama, the excitement, um, ups and downs. Some of them are not so good. The last match we had in China wasn't so good. Didn't enjoy that a lot, but um, then you get days like yeah, all the days we had at Wimbledon, which were culminating the best day of my life. Vanessa Ndambakua. With dreams of competing in the Olympics in 2028, 15 year old sprinter Vanessa has already won gold in the 300 metres at the UK Schools Games, a victory that adds to her impressive collection of medals this year, including silver at the English Schools Games and gold at the English Championships. Um. I used to do it when I was a bit younger in primary from around seven. Um, but I wasn't I'd never really been too interested in it and then as soon as I got into high school the teachers noticed like talent and they were always telling me, Oh you should join like the clubs. So um, my parents they were phoning my parents all the time so they signed me up at Bansley AC and a couple of coaches noticed like I was talented as well and then from there I've just doing it. I started this season, um, I've won the Yorkshire's Championships um, and then I've also done the, um, I was supposed to do the North of England's um, but I got Covid around that time um, which meant I was like back, held back about two weeks-ish um, and then I had the Nationals Championships, England National Championships, just after that, so we're a bit like, you know, after I've just had COVID, but um, I managed to get through at Nationals and I won first, which made put me first in the UK um, with 2404. So, yeah, and then I went on to um, England, sat, uh, no, I did England School Games. Um, just after, a couple of weeks after that and I got, I was doing the 300 which I'm not really, I don't specialise in 300 um, but at the time I was ranked higher 
when they were selecting I was ranked higher in the 300 so uh, I ended up competing there. It's not really what I'm comfortable doing but I still did it anyways and I got first in that as well so I was a champion for that event. Um, I do want to become a professional athlete definitely um, and compete in all like the major championships come in like step first I'll take step by step um, like from next year and stuff I'll be looking at like just making sure I'm getting first and you know winning races like securely and stuff and then obviously the long run Olympics and stuff like that. I feel like it's more the competing the feeling of competing when you're there and there's all the crowd and you just get to do what you're best at and it's just a great feeling when you're doing it. Imogen Wolf. Silkston Common cyclist Imogen Wolf has signed with leading professional Dutch team Visma Lisa Bike after winning three World Championship medals this year. This includes two golds on the track. It's been a good year to be fair, yeah. Um, started with the cyclocross and I got my first World Cup podium um, in the U23s and the juniors and then onto the road I won my first Nations Cup. Um, it's been a pretty busy year, I can't, <laughs> I can't remember everything, but um, yeah, um, a couple of World Champs jerseys at, at the Worlds in China, and then third at last week's um, TT Worlds, um, and yeah, there was some more stuff <laughs> in between there, but yeah, it's been busy, so I'm really, I'm really pleased with how it's gone. I'm a proud Barnsley lass, and yeah, I, I always try to slip in the fact that I'm from Yorkshire into an interview. I mean, I'm always someone that really thinks that like the multidisciplines complement each other and they really help each other out. And so, yeah, I actually think it's easier to perform on multiple disciplines rather than rather than just one. The team won when we did it all together. We'd worked so hard for that. So many training sessions at Manchester, and yeah, so for it to pay off and the the ride to go perfectly to plan, and also the world record was yeah, pretty cool. I really like Visma and. Their approach to things is really scientific and they also got, you know, support in multiple disciplines. So for the cycle across the road, they're also going to back me on the track. So yeah, yeah, it's, I think it's a really positive place to be. I mean, I think I'm aware that it's a pretty big step up, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy going from juniors to elite racing right away because we don't have a U23 category really. Um, so yeah, I'm aware that it's going to be difficult, but I just want to learn as much as I can from the people around me, you know. The girls on the team are insanely talented and yeah, if I can if I can learn from each of them and, and piece things together, maybe in my in my third year I can start, you know, putting out some results. But I think the emphasis for the team as well has to be on on learning and just getting the experience.